How to Solve Equations with Fraction Exponents. This video tutorial can be found on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash solve fraction exponents, where you can find other goodies including a free worksheet with an answer key as well as some other practice problems. The goal of this tutorial is to be able to answer questions like the one on the screen. But before we try to approach something as complicated as that, let's take a step back and look at something that you should be familiar with. You've probably solved, in fact, you really hopefully have solved equations like the one on the screen here. Square root of x equals 3. And you probably know that you need to square both sides to get the answer that x is 9. Well, you actually were solving a fraction exponent equation in disguise because another thing you hopefully also know before you try this topic is that the square root of x is x to the one half and what do we do we raise both sides to a special number turns out it wasn't completely random that you squared both sides you were raising both sides to the second power because 2 is the reciprocal of 1 half. 2 times 1 half gives you 1 and after all what we want to know is what is the value of x to the first or x. And we are always going to raise our fractional exponent or our expression with the fractional exponent to the reciprocal of the exponent. It's not always going to be the power 2, it was just 2 in this equation because 1 half and 2 are reciprocals. So for instance, if we had x to the 2 thirds equals 4, we will raise both sides to the reciprocal of 2 thirds. And as you know, when you raise an exponent to another exponent, you multiply them. And that was the whole point because we want to know what x to the first is. And this is now 4 to the 3 halves or um, the square root of 4 three times, right? Or 2 to the third, which is 8. And so it's pretty straightforward. If you have an expression um, with a fraction in it, you just raise it to its reciprocal. And in fact, this works for any kind of um, exponent. Not even, I mean, you could do it for y to the negative 2. Right? All we have to do is raise both sides to the power that will make it y to the first. So what is the reciprocal of negative 2? Negative 1 half. Negative 1 half. So you get y equals 9 to the negative 1 half. And if you remember your negative exponents is the same as 1 over 9 to the 1 half, which is 1 over the square root of 9 which equals one third. Okay, so you can actually solve any equation where you have some variable raised to some exponent that equals some number. As all you, you always follow the same steps, you just raise both sides to the reciprocal of the exponent. So now let's make things a little more complicated. Three x to the one half plus four equals sixteen. We want to get this equation to look like the ones we did in the past, where we have in some variable x in this case to some fractional exponent equals some number. So let's rearrange this equation a little to make it look like that. We'll subtract 4 from both sides. We'll give us 3x to the 1 half equals 12. And we can divide both sides by 3. And then we end up with x to the 1 half equals 4. And hopefully you know the deal now. Raise both sides to the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2. And you end up with x equals, in this case, 16. Okay, so the thing to take away from this problem is if your equation has several terms on one side and or a coefficient before the variable, you want to cons you want to move you want to isolate the variable and its exponent until it's all alone on one side and there's a number on the other side. And raise both sides to the reciprocal of that exponent. So we're going to do the same thing here. We want this to be b to the one third equals some number. So let's start rearranging things. I will bring the I'll bring the four b over. Though of course there is a bunch of ways you could have um, 
rearrange this. So you end up with 16 equals 4b to the 1 3rd plus 2. Let's get rid of that 2. And you end up with 14 equals 4b to the 1 3rd. Divide both sides by 4. <coughs> and you get a not so pretty number. 14 divided by 4 is going to be uh, 3.5. And you know the deal. Now we'll just raise both sides to the reciprocal of the exponent. So b equals 3.5 to the third, which is 42.875. OK, that's it for solving equations with um, fractional exponents. Again, if you'd like more practice, uh, come to our website, mathwarehouse.com slash solve fraction exponents. There's a free worksheet and a bunch of other practice problems.